Welcome everyone, this is Chobra here from OGN Global, also here with me is of course Manji Krista, one of our excellent casters, and with us we have the two players who received MVP awards tonight in the final semi-final match between Najin Sword up against KT Roaster B, it's going to be Mac Noon and Prey from Najin Sword, so why don't you kick off with some good questions Manji? Okay, uh, first off I want to talk about, you guys have really had a transformation this season in the way you played. Of course, you guys are the do dive team, uh, and you're known for your early aggression. But you've run a lot more comps, as we've seen throughout the season. I remember I, we were talking at one point when you lost to Blaze, uh, and uh, you lost to KTB, and you said, one more day you came into the studio and you said, oh, you, we have the solution now. You know, we've been practicing to fix our end game, our late game. And you came in with yeah. a push and poke comp with, uh, you know, Rumble and Jace and Caitlyn and Nunu. Yeah. And now you've played very passive lanes yeah. and end game comps here against KTB. So when you realized that you weren't finishing out games, what did you do? How did you train to get so much better and more diverse and the, the champions you're able to run? done. 저희 팀은 항상 옛날부터 그냥 너무 라인전만 강하게 가져가려고 했었고 중반에 되면 어떻게 운영해야 될지 몰랐어요. 그래서 중반 가면 몇 명은 되게 막 대부분이 막 어떻게 될까 모르고 하고 무리하게 다이브 하다가도 지고 그리고 또 후반에 운영을 잘 못했어요. 근데 아무래도 신생 팀이다 보니까 저희가 다이브로 뜨다 보니까 그런 스타일이 그런 스타일 잘해서 그렇게 된 거지만 이제 시간이 되다 보니까 이제 문제를 알게 되고 그래서 고치려고 서로 많이 노력했었고 그러다 보니까 고쳐진 것 같아요. 되게 많이 고치려고 노력했어요. 또 게임을 일부러 게임을 저도 게임을 안 끝내고 몇분 동안 파밍을 하고 해가지고 나중에 또 한타 교정을 연습해요. 그런 방식으로 좀 했던 것 같아요. Uh, so Mac Noon says, yeah, we've definitely uh, transformed a lot here, Grease. And just, you know, as a new team, when they got kind of known for do dive, they also just kind of stuck with that. They're like, oh, this is who we are. And they had really strong lane phases, but he admits back then, like, they weren't sure how to move on. You know, in the mid to late game, uh, their communication wasn't really there. Uh, everyone's just a little bit confused, and everyone just said, let's, let's just keep diving. You know, that's what we're known for. That's who we are. But then as soon as they realized, like, we, we don't know how to end games, you know, they started thinking, and even if they were losing games during scrims or whatever, they'd be like, hey, we we should still spend some time farming and practice our team fighting. You know, we need to know wh where we need to improve. And now, now they're going to be in the finals for you know champions winner. So definitely a lot of improvement. Um, going off of that, I want to ask Prey a question in terms of just, of course, as an AD carry, uh, there was a lot of highlight on Prey going into the World Championships uh, last year, and everyone was like. You know, like Prey, like he came out of nowhere, like on Sword, and now he's he's one of the best AD carries. And I, I remember in a translated interview, uh, Prey was talking about how he's like, oh yeah, like I just kind of pick up these champions, and I, I learned them, you know, two weeks, and I'm playing them, in, you know, in a tournament match. Um, how do you feel about your champion pool now? Like, 요즘에 그러니까 처음에 나오셨을 때그 롤드컵 갈 가셨을 때 인터뷰 제가 보니까 뭐 어머 이주에도 그렇고 뭐한 이주 연습하고 이제 매치 산 거예요 그렇게 대박이었는데 이제는 그 챔피언 그게 어떻게 그냥 생각이 드시나요? 이제는 굉장히 다 익숙하신가? 아 사실 모든 챔프들을 다 조금씩은 연습하고 있는데요. 그 조금씩 연습을 이렇게 계속하다 보니까 대회 이제 막상 전날에도 안 쓰던 챔프들을 조금씩만 해봐도 이제 능숙하게 다룰 정도로 이제 되기 때문에. 아마 조금씩 여러 챔프를 여러 이렇게 계속 연습한 게 도움이 많이 된것 같아요. Uh, Prey says, yeah, I mean, now I definitely try to practice all the champions a little bit here and there. But once you get used to a variety, then even a day before the match, you can pick someone back up, uh, just practice a little bit, and it comes back to you, and it kind of becomes like second nature. And so now he's, he's pretty comfortable with any champion that uh, he needs to play in any of the matches. Awesome. So uh, I also want to ask, let me see here, uh, a question about um, Prey versus KTB, actually. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. So, Score has been doing really well so far this season, and I'd love to uh, know what Prey thought about when he came into the matches, when he knew he was going to play against Score, um, if he had a plan for his laning phase, and what he thinks about Score as a player uh, compared to himself. Oh, 그러니까 이제 KTB랑 이제 그 중결승전을 하기로 정, 결정됐을 때요. 이 스코어 선수가 그동안 굉장히 잘하고 있고 계셨는데 그러면 스코어 선수에 대해서 어떻게 생각하셨고 뭐 라인전 그런 거는 어떻게 준비를 하셨는지. 상당히 수비적인 선수라서 그러니까 맨 처음에 저희가 수요일 날 경기를 했을 때는 제가 그냥 그런 거를 모르고 한번 했었는데 
상대랑 이렇게 딜 교환을 하려고 해도 스코어 선수가 딜 교환을 안 하더라고요. 그래서 그, 친, 그 친구 룬이랑 마스터를 좀 비슷하게 따라하면서 같이 그냥 파밍을 해서 CS를 누가 더안 놓치나 식으로 간것 같아요. Uh, he says, yeah, he knew, uh, you know, Score was doing very well and then he, that he's very defensive. And even on Wednesday's match, if he tried to trade, Score would actually just avoid it. And he would just purposely make sure that he didn't have to trade in lane and just focus on farming. And so then you know, Prey decided, you know what, I'll just kind of copy your runes and masteries and fit your style. We'll just compete for whoever gets more CS. And that's how we went forward with that. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. I had no idea. Um, and for Mock Noon, uh, I, you, this is your, you know, a lot of your team. You founded it um, after being on the original Naja and the Empire. Um, and you've come close to winning some tournaments. You were in the semifinals of Champions Summer. Uh, you, you know, you did well at, uh, you three out your group at the World Finals, and you nearly won MLG Dallas. Um, so I, I know that you're very happy to be here in the finals. So what are you going to do in the next two weeks to make sure that you beat Frost? Yeah. 일단 제가 계속 그동안 준비했던 챔피언들이 있어요. 그런 챔피언들이 있었는데 다만 좀 수비적이게 운영하는 KTB 상대로 안 좋은 챔피언도 있었고 또 라간 선수가 너무 공격적이라서 못했 못했던 챔피언도 있는데 그래서 사실 그 챔피언들 봉인했어요. 예를 들어서 니델리 <웃음> 아 맞다 영어를 안 했구나 이해 못하지 아 어쨌든 니달리라던가 뭐 대회 많은 챔피언들이 있어요 제가 근데 다만 대회에서 못 쓰기 때문에 근데 막상 대회가 이제 가까이 오면 벼락치기로 해서는 안 되잖아요 그래서 꾸준히 연습한 캐릭들이 많아요 근데 그런 캐릭들을 이제 결승전에서 보여줄 생각이에요 이제 결승 때는 완전 새로운 스타일의 막눈을 보게 되실 겁니다 Oh, Mac Noon says, yeah, I, I've been preparing actually a lot of champions, but of course, sometimes situation, it just doesn't call for it, you know, especially like Keiichi Roaster B, uh, and Ragan's very aggressive, and he was like, yeah, I mean, some champions just didn't fit into it, uh, and of course, he loves his Nidalee, uh, but he hasn't really had the chance too much, as much as he wanted to play it, but he says, you can look forward to a brand new Mac Noon in the finals, and he's going to bring out some of these champions that he's been preparing, and I think we're all excited for that, I mean, definitely. Yeah, I have a, I have a bit of a follow-up question for that, so uh, you, as a top laner, uh, are going to be going against Shy. Yeah, uh, Shy. Now, Shy, I would say he plays v way fewer champions. He has a smaller champion pool than you do. Um, do you think that's going to help you out in your success because you have more champions that you can play against him? And what do you think is going to happen in lane against Shy? I don't need to say a lot of words. words. I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Of course, right. good old, good old Mac Noon. Yeah, they've been very confident. So just to wrap it up, I want to ask Prey, like, you guys were really confident in your interview. You guys have been just kind of putting down a Zuba Frost saying, like, we're definitely going to win. Are you, are you really that confident, or was it just kind of for fun uh, during the interview? I was like, 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 I 자주 이렇게 보면서 느끼는 건데 그렇게 잘한다고 느끼지는 않거든요. 그래서 아마 쉬운 결승전이 될것 같습니다. All right, so Prey sticking with it. He says, yeah, we watch a lot of Frost games, and they're not a team that we think does that well. So I think it's going to be an easy finals. That's the last word for the day. In two weeks, we're going to be here for the finals in Seoul, South Korea. Once again, it was Chilbert Monte Cristo here from OGN Global.